Okay, <clears throat> for this drywall repair, down here at the bottom, I've got a this 2x4 I'm putting in, where I'm going to reinforce, I'm going to connect a drywall to that, and it gives me something to draw, to connect the drywall to, reinforces the bottom of the uh, cupboard there, and um, we're going to get to it. All right, so I'm going to drill a couple holes because I've got to pull it out. That 2x4 needs to be flush with this edge and it's set in just a little bit. So we're going to drill a couple holes. That should be efficient. Okay, next I'm going to take this handrail, this, this, this rail bolt, okay, and I'm going to anchor it into the hole, screw it in, it's anchored pretty good, all right, get this loosened up, all right. Okay, I'm going to draw one more, drill one more hole, right over here, more in the center. Okay, I'm going to take this, and this in here, this is a half inch drive. Okay, now we're going to put this here in the center. Now, let's see if I can pull this. That's working there. Okay. Now I should be able to pull this out flush here. Okay, that's good. Now, I can <clears throat> unscrew that. This can be somewhat of a challenge at times. Okay, bam, there we go. Next, to put in the piece of drywall. <clears throat> I'll show you how that's, we're going to do that next. Okay, now I'm going to shoot this in. Um, we'll go around and I'll shoot it in a couple other spots on, on the inside of this uh, cabinet under the sink. I'm going to shoot it right into that 2x4. I got some glue in there. Oh, helps if I turn it on. Okay, here we go. It's going to get noisy. There we go. Got to go around. B behind these lines. Okay, and uh, we're gonna get that going right now. Okay, now I get back over here. Alright, and there you have it. 
Now we can start the drywalling process. Okay, I'm going to, I like taking glue, all right, and putting it down here where I'm going to put this piece of drywall is going to go. All right. Okay, that coated. All right, give it a little bit more. All right. Now, got that glued out well. Now, it's going to be it's quick and easy. All right. Now, we're going to get this where it's going to go just like that. Next, we're going to shoot it in. Right, here we go. Gonna shoot her in. It's going to get a little noisy. Now we have that in place. Now we can go around to the front and work the front. All right, got to put in the drywall reinforcement for the next piece. This is backing for the drywall and I got to fit it in there as you see. All right, so I'm going to bring this up here. Okay, it catches here, but I got to come right alongside this pipe. All right, so I've got to come forward because it gets wider, all right? So, I'm going to have to come about right here. This is a good spot. This ought to work nicely. Because it's going to come up right about this point on the pipe. So we got to cut to the outer edge forward about right here. All right? So you just eyeball it. Okay? And after I make this cut, it should fit. All right. All right, now, <clears throat> this is gonna go in here just like this. It's gonna come up and create backing for the drywall on the other side and give it support. So now we can glue. Okay. I'm gonna put a couple nails in it just to hold it while the glue dries. Then I can countersink, I can use some screws and screw in to it, okay? Now I'm just putting glue on this, what I'm doing, okay? All right, that should be good. Should be good. All right, now we're just going to put a couple nails in it. The nails are going to be a tad long, a lot a little longer than what I like. But it'll, it's going to be okay. I'm going to put some screws in it later. Oh, one second. One second. Here we go. All right.
All right, now we can go to the front. Okay, I've got a C-clamp here holding on the backing for the drywall. Okay, and uh, next I'll be shooting it in place. Then I'll screw it later. Okay, now we're going to shoot it in place. All right. The right angle. 